In this current electricity lesson, we explore on why adding resistance in parallel causes effective resistance to look be lower. You might have noticed that when we add more resistance in parallel, the total or the effective resistance actually become lower. For example, if we have two 6 ohm resistance in parallel, if you apply the formula, just 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6 equals to 2 over 6, but there is over 1 OR effective, so we need to flip it over, so it's 6 over 2, 3 ohms. Similarly, if we have 6, 3 6 ohm resistor in parallel, you find that you do the same thing, except that you add another 1 over 6, so in this case it's 3 over 6, and you flip it over, 6 over 3 becomes 2. So we find that from 2 resistor, which is 3 ohms, you become 3 resistor, or become 2 ohms. In fact, the more resistors that you add in parallel, the lower the effective resistance. If you have 4 6 ohm parallel resistor, you find that it is 4 over 6, and then, of course, you flip it over 6 over 4, you get 1.5 ohms. Same thing, 5, 1.2, 6, 1. So, in fact, it gets smaller and smaller as you add more and more resistance. Why does this happen? The results are we obtain is based on the effective resistance formula where the resistors are connected in parallel. And of course we can ask how do that formula come about? So using this simulation we'll hope to explain. Starting from a single resistor, we will switch on turn on the circuit. We notice that the current is right now one ampere. Okay, why is it one ampere? Simply because the I set it the voltage to be 10 volts and 10 ohms, so current 1. However, when we close the switch, which will connect the second resistor in parallel, the total current of the battery, as you notice, is actually 2 now. So right now, think of it as in the battery has now discovered another path that it can send a battery, send a current flowing through it, and you supply the same amount of current flowing through that path. Okay, I can show you the same. Over here, this is 1 ampere. This is also 1 ampere. But of course, if you add up this 2, 1, and 1, you get 2. So that is why the total current is doubled as compared to a single resistor. Since the total current is now doubled, it means that the effective resistance of the current is now considered to be half. Why is that so? Because remember in Ohm's law, I and R has the inverse relationship. When current is 2 times, since R is the inverse of 2, which is actually half. It means that if a battery with EMF of V is connected to R, will have a certain I flowing through. It means that when it is connected to 2 resistors in parallel, you will have a total current of 2I. Why is that so? Because this will have a certain current, this will have a certain current I, so if 1 liter is flowing here, one, one is flowing over here, so over here there must be 2. Okay. So same thing, after it passes through 1I and 1I, you find that when you combine, it will be 2I. So if we want to replace this 2R, with a single resistor, okay, what is the R effective resistance? So that's also called the R effective resistor, which means that we replace this by R over 2, because only R over 2 would cause the battery, when you have the resistor, remember the current will be flowing is 2. So it's exactly as the two resistor in parallel situation. So following the same idea, if we have 3 resistors, then it will be 3 times the current, and thus the effective resistance is right now 1 third R. And of course, you can build the following table, which is actually the previous one. So if you have 4 parallel resistors, it's uh, 4 times the current, and then your effective resistance becomes six, uh, resistor R6, which is original 6, and you divide by 4. And 6 divided by 5, if you have 5, 6 divided by 6. So that's how you obtain your effective resistance, if you, the resistance are all the same. But what if the resistance are of different values from each other, like this example, 5, 2, and 4? Though we cannot use the previous method to obtain the effective resistance, but the basic principle still holds. 
the battery will still supply a current to the new resistors. So you will supply each of the resistors a certain amount of current. And it will still be based on Ohm's law, where the I is equals to the value V over R. So the V in this case will always be 10, and the R value, each individual resistor will have their different values. And we add up all the each of the current in each of the different resistance uh, to find the total current supplied by the battery. Like I mentioned, since the resistors are all connected to the same battery, they have all the same electric potential V. So the total effective current will be the V over R1, which is the first branch of current. V over R2 is second branch of current. V over R3 is the third branch of current. Of course, if you have more resistance, you can just add on until Rn, where n is the, is the n resistor connected in parallel. So what we can do is that we may further manipulate the formula by just pulling it out B, the common term. And since I effective is, of course, just V over R effective, which we want to find, if we compare this two by placing this, replacing this with this so you find you have this and what you can do of course you can just cancel this common term v out we can see that you have the formula of 1 over r effective equals to 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3 plus over to rn so we can use this simple example so in this case the current effective is just simply v over r1 plus v over r2 plus v over r3 and we just sub in the value the value of v is 10 and each one 5 2 and 4 so and then but in this case let's just pull them out of course we can just calculate but we just for purpose sake for discussion purpose sake we just pull them out and v over r effective is actually just 10 and effective equals to this particular value and of course same thing we can just cancel it out and by adding it up, okay, 1 over 5 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 4, you have 0 0.95. But since our mission is to find R effective, so we just invert, you get 1.05 ohms. Okay, I hope that you understand it better now. Okay, this is the end of today's lesson. Please subscribe and support my channel. For my other physics video lesson arranged according to topics, please visit my blog at boringphysicsteachers.wordpress.com. You can subscribe to my channel to be informed when I upload new physics video lessons. Thank you.